what is the difference between iron chloride and iron chloride? Well, the formula is the difference between iron 2 chloride and iron 3 chloride, and you need to know how to work out the formula from the name. Here are four named iron compounds that we are going to work out the formula of. Now this is very similar to doing it in reverse, working out the name of the compound from the formula. Um, and if you haven't watched that video, I suggest you go and watch that video first. You also need to be really familiar with assigning oxidation states before we do this. So copper 2, nitrate 5. We know that in this situation, copper is going to have a 2 plus charge. The nitrogen is going to have a 5 plus charge because it's told us that in the name. Nitrate, the ATE bit on the end, tells us there's going to be oxygen in there as well. Oxygen is minus 2 and you should know that the nitrate ion overall is going to have a minus 1 charge. So we need enough oxygens in there to make sure that the nitrate ion is a minus 1 charge. So if we put 3 ox oxygens in, that's going to give us 6. Minus 6 plus 5 is minus 1 overall. Now we have our nitrate ion as NO3 minus 1. We have copper as copper 2 plus. So we are going to need two nitrate ions for every one copper, giving us a formula of CuNO3 2. Iron 3 hydroxide tells us that the iron is going to have a 3 plus charge. And our hydroxide iron, you should know, has a minus one charge. Because um, overall this is neutral, we are going to need three hydroxides for every one iron that we have, giving us a formula of FeOH3. Sodium chlorate. So sodium, most common iron, is plus one. Chlorate 5 means the chlorine is going to have a plus 5 charge and the ATE bit in the chlorate means there's going to have the oxygen in there as well. Again, I would expect you to know that the chlorate ion overall has a minus 1 charge. If oxygen has a minus 2 charge in combined with chlorine as plus 5 oxidation state, um, we need to get to minus 1, so we need to times that by 3. So we get to minus 6 overall. So our chlorate ion is ClO3 minus 1. Sodium is plus 1, so they can go together in a 1 to 1 ratio. So NaClO3. Copper sulphide now. So we have copper 2, so that means copper has a 2 plus charge. Sulphide, I would expect you to know, has a minus 2 charge. These can just go together in a 1 to 1 ratio, so it is CUS.